Alright guys, what is up? Just before this episode starting, I just want to let you guys know that there is some music, the in-game music. I forgot to turn it off. What happened was my profile got corrupted. Thankfully though, our uh, GM save was okay. I had to start a whole new profile, but I actually forgot to turn off the music. I turned off the music at the start of NHL 14. I haven't had the music on since, so I didn't even really think. It just kind of happened. So again, I apologize. I wasn't going to upload this, but we did make the biggest trade, trades, uh, plural there, two trades in Anaheim Ducks history so I had to upload it and I'll upload another one right after this for this inconvenience again I apologize really nothing I could do so try to bear with it here and I will upload another one right after this Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of our Anaheim Ducks BAGM here. We are currently going into December here and uh, we are 14-8-1. It's not a great record, but it's not a fantastic record. And we're going to make a huge splash here. The biggest uh, two trades in Anaheim Ducks franchise history. So, I was looking at our GM tracker here. I found out the statistics thing. You actually have to start the regular season before you can look at your stats in the GM tracker. But you know, after we won that cup, we had an unreal year, made it to the Western Conference Finals, only to be eliminated, and then it's going, and then it was just kind of worse from there. We got eliminated in the second round, and now here we are. So, you know, we're three years removed from winning the Stanley Cup, and I want to get back there in a bad, bad, bad way. So we need to make a big move. And I wouldn't have done this if I actually don't know who it was who tweeted me. But someone tweeted me a picture of Getzlaff and Perry in 20, or yeah, in 2019, which would be next year. And I wouldn't have uh, thought about this trade until somebody tweeted me. They tweeted me a picture of Corey Perry and Ryan Ryan Getzlaff next year. This will be year number six in 2019. And Getzlaff was at 87 and. Perry was at 88, so I need to get rid of them ASAP because they're going to drop after this year. They're 32 years old. They'll be 33 next year. Uh, they need to be gone now. We need to get a little bit younger here. Don't get me wrong. They're fantastic players, and they're both unreal, but... We're going to make a huge splash here. Uh, one thing though, you guys were telling me to put, uh, where is he, Vakar? We got to put him on the first line. But you guys were telling me that I had somebody scratched who I didn't actually know. Elliers was scratched, and I didn't really uh, even know that. Apparently, he's got really good potential. He was a second round pick in our first draft. Uh, so we'll go ahead and slot him in the lineup here. And then I will make this blockbuster move. I really got it to where it's going to work perfectly. And I'm really excited to prove it to you guys. Okay, so Nikolai Elliers is now on the AHL team, but we are going to complete the trifecta here, complete the three. We already have one piece, which is uh, Nikita Kucherov. We already have one piece of the Tampa Bay, of the Tampa Bay trifecta here, and we're going to get the other two pieces right now. We're going to have to say goodbye to Perry and Ryan Getzlaff, and you guys are thinking, oh my goodness, who who are you going to get, Tech? Who is this that can replace the one goal Ryan Ryan gets left? One goal in 23 games, not enough, dude. And you are going to be traded to Tampa Bay. This time we are going to get Steven Stamkos. Yes, that is right. 27 years old, 92 overall. The only thing that concerns... I mean, look at Stamkos' stats. Like, it's... Oh my god. Shooting, five stars. Skating, five stars. Puck skills, five stars. Senses, five stars. This guy is top three, top five in the league any day of the week, and he is going to be unreal to play on our team. The one thing that concerns me is his cap. He's at 10.6 million, which is a little bit crazy. It's a little bit crazy, don't get me wrong. But we are paying Ryan Getzlaff 8.2, and we are paying Corey Perry 8.6. So this is going to work out. I'm going to give a first round pick for next year for 2019. Ryan Getzlaff for Steven Stamkos. Thank you very much. That is an excellent trade on my part, and I'm very, very happy that that went through. So, Corey Perry now, it's time for you. I was thinking about keeping Corey Perry, but I know you guys would hate me if I didn't get this player, and that is Jonathan Drouin. One thing though, I mean he's 22 years old, so I've seen some GMs where he's already like at 85 at 22 years old. Uh, I want to make sure, I mean, I know this guy is going to be sick. I know he is. Look at that potential. It's impossible for him not to be sick. He's going to play on the NHL team this year. He is 79 overall. He is going to get the third line winger spot. I will show you how all of this goes through. And we're going to upgrade our defense here. So Matt Carl, and we have to get another player. I have it written down here, but it's just like a crappy player, this guy. Walters, oh no, it's um, 
So this is the trade. Corey Perry, two first round picks for Jonathan Drouin, Matt Carl, and Tory Mitchell. So Matt Carl is a 33 year old two way defenseman. He's really good actually. Defense is great. I actually really like Matt Carl. I had him in an offline or a GM mode previously that I was not recording and uh, he's actually really, really, really good. So he's gonna play alongside uh, Hampus Lindholm on our, th on our third pairing but Jonathan Drouin. Here he is. This is a risk we are taking. I know he gets good though. You guys were saying get this constant 50 goal guy, no question. So Jonathan Drouin, welcome to Anaheim. There it is. I cannot believe we just traded Getzlaff and Corey Perry. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's the team. What is going to look like? So we're going to have Stamkos. Uh, where is he? Stamkos, Clark, and Kucherov. Or Stamkos, Clark, and Barchese. I'm going to try Barchese right now. Put him on the first line because we did have... Um, we did have uh, Kucherov on the first line last time, so I'm going to give Sven Barchi the chance here, and then we're going to have, um, where is he? He's not even playing right now. we got to go ahead and get my man, Jonathan Drouin. Welcome to the team, my friend. He's going to get the third line right winger spot for right now. Don't worry, though. I will put him on the power play. So it's going to be Nylander, uh, Kucherov, and Huberto, and then Tori Mitchell. We do have one more player dressed. I actually got to scratch Tori Mitchell. I mean, who's a better player, Nick Spalling or Tori Mitchell? Um, 83 defensive awareness, 87 discipline, which I like on Nick Spalling. Spalling's, at, Spalling's actually scored some really clutch goals for us. Um, 80 defensive awareness. Yeah, okay, so we're going to get rid of Tori Mitchell. He's just, I'm just going to put him on, on waivers. Hopefully somebody picks him up. If not, we can toss him for like a third round pick or something. But Tori Mitchell is going to get scratched there. So Jonathan Duran, Cody Eakin, and Adam Ernie. Love that line. A sniper, a two-way forward, and a two-way forward. Then we got a sniper, a playmaker, and a sniper. And then two snipers and a playmaker so lots of snipers on this on this team but that means more assists for Blake Clark and Blake Clark is the he's the big question mark here he's 20 years old he's a rookie he's having a pretty good uh He's having a decent rookie year. He's only 23 games into his young career. He's at 84 overall. Playing him on the first line is going to do nothing but wonders. I can't have Nylander up here because that would be three snipers, and that just is not going to work together. Uh, but we're going to have Berchi, Stamkos, and Blake Clark for the first line, and then Matt Carl and Hampus Lindholm. That's a little bit better than Alexander Erbaum, so I'm pretty happy with that. Those are actually two really, really, really good trades. Although we traded first-round picks, that's okay because we have prospects in every single department. I mean, Jonathan Drouin, come on. I'm actually thinking about putting Drouin on the second line, putting putting William Nylander on the uh, on the third line, but I think we're going to play Drouin there for right now. Uh, you guys can let me know, though. And the power play, I'm just going to fix it really quickly. So there's what the power play is going to look like. It's going to be Jonathan Drouin, Steven Stamkos, and Akita Kucherov. So the Tampa Bay trio right there. Oh my god, I cannot even believe we got Steven Stamkos and Drouin. That is just nutty. So it's going to be Drouin, Stamkos, Kucherov, Berchi, Huberto, and Clark, and then Nylander or Nylander on the points. He has a 95 slap shot, so I thought I would utilize that a little bit, and uh, I'm stoked. I am really stoked. So let's get into some simulation here. I really don't... I think, I mean, I know that was a really good trade, although our first line is going to suffer a little bit not having the one-two punch of Corey Perry and Ryan Getz. But I mean, we got Steven Stamkos. You can't really complain. Stamkos is a tank. He currently has 30 points in 23 games, so he is ripping it up this year. And I hope that trend continues for sure. So, Huberto, uh, he's doing good. Everyone's just doing pretty decently, but we need to do a lot better. I want a lengthy playoff run this year. I want another Stanley Cup ring. My hand's looking pretty empty with one. I need two on there. And hopefully, hopefully we can turn two into three and three into four and four into five, have a whole hand of Stanley Cup rings. But that is what the team is looking like. I am really happy with my GM moves here. And uh, yeah, I'm super, super stoked. So let's get into some simulation. You know, this year could be a it could be a strange year. We could totally shit the bed, and because we don't have, because Druan's not going to get better until next year. So actually, our owner wants to uh, say something here. Not many GMs in the NHL ever make it to star status, but you can count yourself in that elite now. That is right, baby. Uh, you are doing all of all the things right since becoming the veteran GM 23 months ago or so. Keep it up. You you'll need to bring your best skills forward to earn legendary GM status. Oh. 
boy, we're up there with Scotty Bullman and stuff. We are up there, boys. Uh, this is awesome. I'm really happy. Oh, look, it's, look, it's, look, it's damn close. 12 goals, 18 assists. That is sick. Look at all those trades. But like I said, this year could be a weird year. It could either mean that Drew M, uh, you know, he stays at a, at a 79 throughout the whole year and then has his jump in the offseason. Uh, exact same thing with our goalies. We have a really young first line left winger. We have two really young goalies. We have a really young team now. We definitely got a lot younger with getting rid of Perry and Ryan Getzlaff. We are on a three game winning streak here. Let's try to make it a four game. Let's we'll see what Drew M, Stamkos, and Matt Carl can do in their debut. So, first period, two to nothing. Berchi and uh, William Nylander, second period. 2-0 still, third, 3-0, Jonathan Drouin, baby, there we go, making his mark on the power play, that is how we do it, uh, alright, I'm super stoked, that was his first goal in his first career NHL game, can he keep it going, I'm gonna slow him in the next one, kinda see if he can, um, if he can get like three goals in three games or something, that'd be kind of cool. But uh, let's go to an assignment. We'll go ahead and do this really quick. Forward in the States, and I wanna go to the queue. Uh, let's actually just try in the dub. Let's go in the dub right now. Uh, and let's go slow some against LA, then I'll get a couple months of simulation done here. So first period, oh, nothing. Marion Gabrick, second period. So no Jonathan Drewam, but we did get to Steven Stamkos getting his first goal, and Kucherov scoring a goal there, so lots of just the Tampa Bay trio here, just doing wonders. Third period. Oh, Gabrick tied it up, and we lose in a shootout. Tower to Foley scores the shootout winner. But let's get some more simulation down here. I'm stoked with that, though. I'm really like, I'm in a in a way, I'm upset that we traded them because they were such key parts to our team. But at the same time, it was bound to happen. And if they really do get down to like an 88 and like an 87 for next year, I really think that the time would be now to trade them. Uh, so we can get Steven Stamkos, we can get Jonathan Drouin before he's like at 85 and before he is impossible to get. So the cap is going to be another interesting thing because like I said, Stamkos is making 10.6 million and eventually once Drouin gets to be at 89 plus, uh, he's going to want that, that that type of money. So I mean 20 million invested in two players is a little bit crazy, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit crazy. but. I think we're just going to focus on the now, not really worry too much about the future. I mean, obviously worry about the future, but try to just try to get that cup ring now, get a couple of them early on, and maybe in a couple years, maybe in like four or five years, if you think about another rebuild or whatnot. But the Corey Perry, Ryan Getzlaff days are now over. I'm sorry if you did not want to see them go. I know a lot of people did want to see them go, but still, I'm, I'm still very happy that we did make those trades. So if we do ever play Tampa Bay, I will slow sim it just to see the return of Perry and the return of Ryan, Ryan Getzlaff. Uh, we are 17, 9, and 5, a 7 to 2 win there. Holy shit. 18, 9, and 5. I actually got a pretty decent amount of overtime losses, but hopefully we can continue to put those W's up and uh, we, can we can rip apart the Western Conference here. So, against the Buffalo Sabres, who have a pretty good team, uh, 16, 12, and 5, and we pull out a 3 to 1 victory. We're on quite a streak right now. Stamco, 17 goals, 26 assists. Holy shit. This guy is ripping it up right now. I do actually want to check our HL team as well. As if I recall, they were uh, they were doing some damage. I think they were like 18 and one or something just ridiculous. So our uh, one more game here until the end of December, and we are now in the new year, 2018, baby. Uh, three one loss. Oh no, one more one more day, then we are in a new year, 2018. There we go. So fuck Steven Stamkos. Looks like he's just ripping it up right now. Uh, we are currently in the Western Conference. We are, or sorry, in the Pacific Division. We're number two. Uh, we're number three overall in the West. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. LA is two points ahead of us, so we're right there. Uh, looks like the Flyers, Nashville has the best overall record, and we're up against them right now. Um, we actually have Florida's first overall pick, first round pick. So they are fourth place in the Atlantic. So it's not bad. Uh, hopefully they shit the bed and we get like a top 10 pick. That'd be awesome. Goals, we are with uh, 17 goals there. Uh, Kadri with 18. Oh, Kadri. Kadri, Kadri, Kadri. Uh, assist for number six. So Stamkos is doing it all. Stamkos is number two in points behind, yep, you guessed it, Nazim the Dream, baby, Nazim Kadri. So 
That's pretty crazy. Uh, Kadri looks like he's ripping it up. Uh, let's get another month of simulation down here. We're slow sim this one because these are the this is the best team in the NHL. Let's see how we match up here. First period, one to one. Patrick Kane and Bar Cheesy. Second period, three two. Kane. Oh, Kane gets a Hattie. Oh no way. Oh, we come back to win it. Kucherov gets two goals of his own, and Nylander gets one as well to get the four to three victory. I'm pretty sure Kane had a hat trick. Yeah, he had three goals, but Kucherov had three points. So that's awesome. I do want to go, we'll go in the middle. Ooh, we got a game against Tampa Bay here. We'll go up to that game. We got a game against Tampa Bay. Mark that on your calendars. The return of Ryan Getzlaff and the return of Corey Perry. Uh, actually depends where, where, where we're actually playing. I don't even know where we are. Could be the return of Stamkos or the return of uh, of uh, Corey Perry and Ryan Getzlaff here. But big win against LA. Come on, we gotta get a victory here. Big game. Big game, big game, and we get a 2-1 win. There we go. So we are at home. It is the return of Perry and the return of Ryan Getzlaff. Oh, my goodness. Mark this one on your calendars. One more game is going to be big. Uh, trading block. We don't need to put anyone on a trading block, to be honest with you. Uh, why do we have our first on? We have, we have uh, Florida's first. Okay, we have two firsts this year, which is great. That's why I, I traded the first in 2019 and 2020. We actually don't have a first round pick until 2022. So that kind of sucks, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm not too worried about it. We have prospects. We have the base core in which I want uh, our team to be. So Stamkos is just ripping it up. Oh, my goodness. Uh, against Montreal, we get a 3-2 loss. And now, for the game everybody has been waiting for, the Tampa Bay Lightning come to Anaheim. Ooh, they have a Vander Kane as well, so they have a lot of X. Uh, they have a lot of X Anaheim Ducks here. But our HL team, oh my God, 29-3-5. Holy shit, we're killing teams. 8-3, to 3, 3 nothing. Oh my god, 4 nothing. Our HL team is killing it. I'm going to go ahead and check our... No, I'll, I'll check our stats at the end of this month. We have another game against Tampa Bay next week. So we're going to be playing these guys quite a bit. Uh, let's go here. This is going to be a huge game. Let's go. First period. Ooh, Barchi baby. Sven Barchisi on the big man. Ben Bishop, second period. 2 nothing. Vadinin. All right, the stars are not shining right now. The stars are not shining. Come on, Kucherov. Come on, Stamkos, Cogliano gets one, the X-Duck. They have another X-Anaheim Duck. Oh, my God. Call these guys the Tampa Bay Ducks. Another X-Duck. Tamp. Oh, oh my. What? <laughs> okay, Evander Kane, you're the best player ever. Okay, so Evander Kane's pissed, and he showed us there that <laughs> he is not to be screwed with. Evander Kane gets two goals to put us out. Um, Perry had an assist, and that was it. Drouin did have an assist as well, so, but I mean, three goals from three X, um, from three X Anaheim Ducks, that's pretty bad. Uh, let's go to another Tampa Bay game. We are in Tampa Bay now, so now it is the return of Stamkos. Let's see if Stamkos can rip it up against his old team, the Tampa Bay Lightning. That sounds weird. I, honestly, though, I don't think that a player like Stamkos could ever really be traded. He's way too valuable. I mean, Gretzky was was traded, so I guess I mean that. I mean, I guess anybody can be traded, but that's still a crazy player to trade. See how much he means to the to the franchise. That's pretty crazy. I want to see if there's any really like big studs out there. Uh, doesn't look like it quite yet. We'll check defensemen. Uh, I want to see if there's any like like five green star people because we hey Henrik Zetterberg he's back baby Henrik Zetterberg um, but I want to see if there's any really big studs um, there's one Van Riemsdyk guy there Coburn no really big studs let's check tendies really quick here and then we will continue with the simulation but no real big studs in this draft eh uh, kind of a weak draft it looks like second round no goalies at all no tendies all right we'll go defenseman in the dub there's that guy We'll go ahead and scout him a little bit more. We have uh, two of these games are really big games here, so let's go ahead and win this one against LA. Huge, huge game here. We do lose, we do lose, unfortunately. I think that was an overtime, though, so we did get a point. Uh, Stamco is still just ripping it. I'm in love with seeing Stamco on this team. He's so good. Uh, another big game here against the... Oh, another loss. That was a regulation loss, though. So we're going to slow sim this one, then we'll go to the end of the uh, end of the month. There's only two more games. We've got the All-Star break. And then we will sh we'll show the stats, and that's going to be it. So, yeah, Steven Stamkos, I can't the return, the return to Tampa Bay. Let's see how he does here. The nerves are flowing. Let's go. First period. Oh, gets laugh. Oh, gets laugh. No, don't do this to me. 
Second period. Oh my god, gets laugh. No, no. What's with the two goal performances? Philippi love 4 1. Stammer, where are you, buddy? Come on. Come on. I know you're nervous, but you gotta show up, man. You gotta show up. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Corey Perry. Corey Perry gets the empty netter. 5 to 1. They ran all over us there. Okay, well, that was embarrassing. Juan did get an assist, though. Um, I mean, Juan's two for two. He's got two points in the two games he's played against his old team, so props to him. But Kane's got 20 goals for them, so props to them. Um, get that game out of there, though. Burn the tape for 23, 15, and 7, so it's not the greatest record. Uh, <laughs> not the greatest record at all. Marcel Gok, do we need him? A two-way forward, 77 overall. Uh, no, it's just cap that we don't really need, so we'll say no to him. Uh, big 4-1 to one win there, two really good opponents here. Uh, we, hey, there you go, getting some victories now, 25, 15, and 7. I want to see where we are in the stats-wise, though, because we were number 2 in the Pacific before, and I really don't know where we are now. So, uh, we're going to get the All-Star game done here, we're going to see what players made it, probably Stamkos. I don't really know who else is doing good, because Stamkos is leading in every single stat. Uh, points or yeah points goals assists and plus minus so let's go ahead and check real quick who made the all-star team so uh king and tay stamkos didn't make it that's nice uh stamkos and kadri no kadri kadri so kadri made it there uh weber doughty gormy keith rumblad and dylan anyone in the no goalies either so I mean our goalies are really young so it doesn't really matter but one last game here before we are heading into the next month and then I'm gonna cut the episode here biggest trade in franchise history oh my goodness I can't even believe I pulled that off that was some pretty nutty trades that uh, was pretty crazy so big game against Calgary and we lose five to one what is going on our HL team is 35 and four holy shit um so we definitely need to step it up a little bit here. Big trade though, Audrey Umberger for two firsts. What? This is in year five too. He's got to be like a like an 84 overall. Two firsts for Umberger? Wow, Audrey Umberger with cheese, baby. Uh, Umberger with cheese. All right. So we're number two. We're one point behind LA. We're tied with Phoenix. Um, we're we were, I mean, we're still a playoff team. So Florida's number four. Hopefully they can shit the bed and we can uh, get a higher overall pick. Uh, goals, we are number three with 26 with Steven Stamkos. Assists, we are like number nine with uh, Stamkos as well. Points, we're number one. The leading point getter in the NHL, Steven Stamkos, baby. That is what I like to see. So we'll quickly go over the stats um, and then we're going to go ahead and call this one episode. It's going to be pretty long though. We're at 25 minutes and we've got a lot done here. We traded our two franchise players for arguably our next two, two franchise players. We should, do, we should do the captaincies. Uh, I'm going to let you guys vote on the captaincies. Um, oh my god, Stamkos just ripping it up. 57 points in 48 games. Can't really ask for more. You cannot. There's no po plus plus 15. I mean, he's doing fantastic. There's no way you can say you want this guy to do better or worse. He's doing fantastic. Uh, Blake Clark doing really good as well. 32 points as a rookie. He'll have like a 50-point year, hopefully, if he keeps it up. Bearchy only 28 points. Oh my goodness. And uh, he's getting the first line minutes. Kucherov only 21. Really? Something's going wrong here. So Clark and Samkos are playing great together. They're obviously clicking. But Bearchy only 12 goals. Uh, we probably have to trade uh, Bearchy here. Or figure out the lines. You guys can let me know in the comments. But Vadanen 25 points. That's great. Huberto uh, with 25. It's not bad. Kucherov 21, Nylander 21. I mean, aside from Stamkos, uh, Druen's got 12 points in 25 games. It's not terrible. Uh, he's, he's getting the third line minutes, though. Maybe I'll put Druen on the second line, and then we'll go ahead and do something with the first line. You guys can let me know, though. Uh, Ernie, only seven points. So the third line doesn't look like he's doing too much. Uh, doesn't look like he's doing too much of anything, really. Um, I, was, I was hoping for something better, to be honest with you. I really was. Uh, rookie goalies, no goaltenders, 19 and 13 and 6 and 3. So Papini's playing pretty good in the starts that he has had. Um, Gibson needs to step it up though. Uh, yeah, so it's good. It's interesting. It's really interesting. This whole year, this may be a year where we only get like to the first round, and then next year we rip it up with Druan being really, really good. Or you know, I really don't know quite yet. So um, let's check goals forward 21st. So. 
we really need a prime first line, or we really need a prime first liner to play alongside Stamkos and Clark right right now. Uh, 114 goals for our 21st uh, goals for the game. We're 21st goals against. We're number four. So we're. I mean, it's not our goalies. It's not our. I think it's our offense. It's definitely our offense. Definitely our offense. Aside from Stamkos, he's really holding down the whole fort. But goals against per game is great. Uh, power play goals number five. Power play percentage number 11. So and we're not bad. Could be a lot better, but uh, penalty kill is weak. Got to work on the penalty kill for sure. Um, and we are much better home than we are away, which is usually the case. So that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. That is pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and vote on the captaincy really quick here. Coaching options. Uh, you guys can let me know about the captains. Right now we have no captains. We have uh, we have three assistants in Cam Fowler, Julius Honka, and Steven Stamkos. You guys can let me know for the captaincy. And they will not bear show on Stamkos goes there but it will be changed in the next episode so hopefully you guys enjoyed the ridiculous crazy trades i just made i was not expecting that at all but i mean it had to be done and stamkos obviously paying off already i mean he's got 57 points in like 43 games whatever it was so pretty crazy vote on the captain sleep let me know what you want me to do about the lines and stuff what about barchisi i think barchisi is just a waste i really wish that we didn't trade kadri now because he's ripping it up but hope you guys did enjoy if you did go ahead and drop a like let me know what you thought about the trades and i will see you guys very soon with the next episode